Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly reading, and as always, I'm going to be focusing on the energy of love and relationships for everyone. And we're going to be using my fairy deck, messages, uh, magical messages from the fairies deck. And I'm going to be using, as always, my Under the Rose Lenormand because it feels like it has something it wants to say. Um, I've been really connected to this deck, and it wants to continue on from our last couple weekly readings. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, before I get started, I wanted to also say I'm hearing the song uh, Lady. I think it was by Styx. I could be wrong on that one. I'm not <laughs> real good with that, but I'm hearing it over and over in my mind. So it could pertain to someone. The lyrics could be important for someone that is watching the video. So I wanted to get that out as well. And it just started when I decided to do my weekly video. I'm doing this a little bit ahead of time because I want to um, get it uploaded and out before Sunday. This reading is going to be for Sunday, July 26th through August 2nd, I believe, um, for the weekly energies. And I wanted to get it out early because I'm going to be giving away my Indigo Angel deck that is up there on my shelf, as you can see where I'm pointing right there. I'm going to be choosing someone from my um, Facebook fan page to give that deck to on the 26th of July as a celebration giveaway for my birthday. So I'm going to be putting the link below this video and so that everyone has a chance to enter and win that deck. So let's get started with seeing what the love energies are around for everyone in this upcoming week. And I'm focusing on the law of attraction as always and those that are meant for this reading and this message from Spirit. And there it is. And then I'm going to pull a three under the rose. And the center one is going to be the main energy. And it was already fell out there. Let me pull this one. So we're going to see what's coming. The fairy deck is your wishes granted. So anything that you're wanting in the month or in the week of July 26th, to the end of the beginning of August is going to come to you. Um, I love to see this card, especially because it is the 26th is my birthday, and so starting my birthday week. So my birthday wish is going to be granted, and it hasn't so far, but I hope that eventually that it will. I'm wishing to get one day back to the ocean, back to the sea. So hopefully the energy is going to be moving in that direction for me. Um, so it's a good energy to see, but we are looking at the energy of love and relationships. So they are indicating something positive coming to you, something that you've asked for. Also, that brings up the energy of be careful what you wish for, um, because sometimes you get it, and um, you want to make sure that it is exactly what you want. So we're going to go ahead and move and see what the um, Norman is indicating, and we have the mountain. So the mountain is all about obstacles. So even though obstacles are seemingly in your path, and I feel a lot of obstacles around communication, we're seeing the 21, which is partnerships with the two, yes, but we see the one after it, so it's subtracting. There's some individual energies that are in play here, which means both partners in the relationship are working on individual things that they need to at this time obstacles come into our place for some reason. Also, a lot of the things in relationships are mirrors. So what's happening for you is also happening for the other person. So I do feel communication um, obstacles and it can be a little bit of independence going on with each person and they're needing to get over the sense of independence as well. Um, and definitely this energy is what is going on. Eight of Wands is also a card of movement and communication. So with the mountain in the way of the wands, things have kind of slowed. So the movement is slowed, communication is an issue, and I feel some individual independence energy with each partner maybe causing some of the slower, slower movement. But the fairies want you to know that the energy is still moving even though these obstacles are appearing. The center card and the main source of energy this week in relationship is the fish. So the fish is also indicating the king of diamonds energy, and the king of diamonds is finances. So there's a very strong sense of finances coming into play in this relationship or those that are drawn to it this week. Again, there is stability with the communication with the three. So the four and the three. Three is all about communication. Four is about stability. So it can be that once finances are in place for probably the male um, in this partnership or the man in this partnership, things are going to become more stable, but I do feel that sense of finances. So there could be an issue of worth as well. It doesn't always have to be financial. It can be a sense of unworthiness or not feeling worthy of something. Um, 
that is a something because it, we're seeing a fish going this way, which is the past. Something from the past can be creating that within one or both of the partners. And always remember, I'm saying the male in this relationship, but things mirror. So you want to look at, even if your finances are in place, you want to look at the energy of something that may be lurking there under the water that has something to do with the, your sense of value from past. And you need to work on those blockages because it's creating that there. So you want to look for that. And here we have a lady. Isn't it amazing? I was listening to that running in my head. So very beautiful energy. And again, I, it's, a, it's a confirmation that that song was important to someone or maybe many in this reading. So I urge everyone to kind of Google the lyrics or maybe you know the lyrics um, and look for an additional message uh, from that song in your head. Also, this is a very elegant um very beautiful card of the divine feminine so you know it can be that just as i said all these things can be an issue for you know not only the male because we saw the king here just as i was saying it's also a mirror everything that's happening is also a mirror from within yourself whether you want to really acknowledge it or not so you may want to sit with maybe feelings of unworthiness of value from the past that maybe creating blockages for your, your, you know, the flow of things to come to you. So you want to look at that. But they are indicating here, mainly I'm feeling from the, the mountain again to reconnect to the message. The first message is I feel a sense of some, um, you know, some stalled energy, some individual energy from the one taking away from the two, um, some independence and some com communication blockages and some, you know, blockages in the flow of the energy. But definitely ending on a very beautiful note of something very positive coming from this lady or for this lady. So very beautiful energy. So I hope that everyone has enjoyed the weekly reading for this upcoming week. And again, it will be for July 26th through August 2nd. But I am going to be uploading and posting ahead of time so everyone can take advantage of being able to enter to win that deck. Please follow my fan page for upcoming giveaways, upcoming chances for readings. I often post for just a quick um, and intuitive reading for someone. And I will also be doing, and I have already started posting for free healing energy work. Um, you know, just doing some energy healing for those that are drawn and want that. So watch my fan page for that as well. I will put a link to my fan page below this video. I hope everyone has a beautiful upcoming week and uh, enjoys your upcoming week and that your relationships you may want to do some reflecting looking at how um, your energy is is affecting it as well so sending angel blessings sending oceans of love and beach blessings to everyone bye